We are now on the lesson 2 of preparing computer aided drawings and for this lesson we will tackling about the AutoCAD coordinate system. Working with AutoCAD is equal to working with a set of points or coordinates. There are actually two kinds of coordinate system. We have the Cartesian coordinate system and the polar coordinate system. The Cartesian coordinate system is considered as the standard coordinate system. Most of the CAD systems utilizes the three-dimensional Cartesian coordinate system, which is defined by three mutually perpendicular axes, referred to as the X, Y, Z axis. But since we are only working with 2D, your workspace will only show the two axes. Thus, the position of a point in a Cartesian coordinate system using 2D can be described by its distance from two axes, which is the X and Y. On the other hand, the polar coordinate system uses one distance and one angle to describe the position of a point rather than the two distances. The distance and angle measurements here are made relative to an origin. In AutoCAD, the system used to create entities or objects is referred to as the User Coordinate System or UCS, which can be found on the bottom left corner of your drawing area. By default, the UCS is aligned to the World Coordinate System or WCS, which is a coordinate system employed by AutoCAD as the basis for defining all objects and other coordinate systems defined by the users. When a command prompts you for a point, you can use the pointing device to specify the point or you can enter its coordinates. Coordinate values can be absolute, which is measured from the current coordinate system's origin point, or relative, which are specified in relation to the previous coordinates. With both Cartesian and polar coordinates, you can enter the absolute coordinates based on the origin, or relative coordinates based on the last point specified. Let us now talk about the five different methods on how we can specify the location of coordinates. One of the methods of specifying the location of coordinates or entering coordinates in AutoCAD is through the use of the absolute coordinate method. It is the default coordinate entry method in AutoCAD. Here, you have to type the X and Y coordinates to locate the point on the current coordinate system relative to the origin. In using this method, you have to remember the format of x, y. So let's say for example, we're going to draw a line using the given coordinate values. So to do that, act activate first the line command by either clicking the icon on the draw panel or just by typing L on your keyboard and then press enter. When AutoCAD asks you to specify the first point, you have to enter the first set of coordinate values, which is 4, 6. So just type in 4, 6, and then press Enter. After that, AutoCAD will ask you to specify the next point. Here, you have to type the second set of coordinate values. Type in 5, 4, and then press Enter. And to terminate the command, you can just press the escape or the enter button on your keyboard. So there you go. This is now the line that is formed using the absolute coordinate method. Let us now discuss another method of specifying location of coordinates, which is the relative coordinate method. Here, you have to provide and type the x and y coordinates relative to the last point. Remember the format of at x, comma, y. So using the same set of coordinate values, let us use this method. So activate the line command. And when AutoCAD asks you to specify the first point, go ahead and type in 
the four the first set of coordinate values which is four and six you can do that using the absolute method four comma six and then press enter when AutoCAD now asks for the next point you have to type in the at sign and then five comma four and then press enter and then terminate the command so here is now the line that is formed using the relative coordinate method let us now discuss another method of specifying the location of coordinates and that is the relative polar coordinates in this method you have to type a distance and an angle relative to the last point the format you have to follow is at distance angle using the same set of coordinates let us use this method so activate first the line command when AutoCAD asks you to specify the first point you just have to directly type the given coordinates 4 comma 6 and then press enter now when AutoCAD asks you to specify the next point we have now to type and follow the format for the relative polar coordinate so type in the at the at sign and then 5 the greater than symbol and then 60 which is the angle and then press enter this is now the line that is formed using the relative polar coordinate method one of the easiest way of entering values or coordinates in AutoCAD is through the use of the interactive method here you just have to pick any point on your screen or drawing area so let's say for example we're going to draw a line so activate the line command by either clicking the icon or just typing L on your keyboard and then press enter and then when AutoCAD asks you to specify the first point you can select anywhere here on your drawing area so to do that you just have to make a left click on your mouse so after left clicking on your mouse AutoCAD will ask you to specify the next point. So here, again, you can click anywhere on your drawing area. So let's say, for example, here, just make a left click again. And then to end the command, just press the Enter or the Escape button on your keyboard. So here is now the line that is formed using the interactive method. But how about if the line that we're going to draw requires a certain distance and a certain direction? So this time, we can use the direct distance entry technique. Here, we have to specify a second point by first moving the cursor to indicate the direction and then enter a distance. So let's draw a line again. Activate the command. And then when AutoCAD asks you to specify the first point, you can use the interactive method to do that. So just make a left click anywhere here on the drawing area. After left clicking, and then AutoCAD ask you will, will ask you for the next point. If you will move your cursor, you will see that a rubber band line is forming. And at the same time, you will notice a dotted line that is forming and as you move your cursor the values on that part also changes so the part that is highlighted is for the distance while the other one is for the angle so in providing or specifying the direction you can just move your cursor this way anywhere here or you can directly enter a an angle as for the direction so let's say for example we're going to draw a line that is 20 units long and we wanted this line to be inclined or going on this direction so just type in 20 and then press enter so here is now the the line that is formed which is 20 units long 
But let us now try providing a certain angle for the direction. When working with angles in AutoCAD, you have to remember that AutoCAD reads the angle in a counterclockwise direction. So again, let's activate the line command. Let's draw the same line with a distance of 20. So I will choose this part as my first point and type in 20 since th that is the required distance. And for you to be able to provide the exact direction through the use of angle, just have to press the tab button on your keyboard and then th your cursor will move now to the angle space, to the space where you have to put your required angle. So let's say, for example, we want our line to be 45 degrees. So just type in 45. No need to type in the symbol of degrees or type in the whole word degrees, just the number, and then press Enter. So there we go. If you will notice, this is now the line that is 20 units long and, 40, and is 45 degrees.